Scorpion displayed many characteristics of a full pharaoh, but he came from an earlier age. Archaeologists had just opened a door on a whole new chapter of Egyptian history. Finding these objects was an amazing sensation because it was just so new and different. Things like the scorpion mace had radically changed people's perceptions. It took them back to a time for which they had no texts. It was really, um, they were flummoxed. They didn't know what to do. I think that's why there's been so much interest in the name. It was a bit of writing that they could read. At the time, it was widely assumed that Egyptian civilization sprang up suddenly in around 3000 BC with the arrival of the first pharaohs. Many people had thought it had to be an invasion of a superior race. The exquisite beauty of the things that the Egyptian civilization created. At the turn of the century, people didn't want to believe this was coming out of Africa. They wanted to root it in Mesopotamia or even in Europe. In some ways, it was quite racist. Few Egyptologists questioned the accepted idea that the pharaohs were foreign invaders, bringing rapid progress to a backward country. But with Quibell's discovery of a king who predated the pharaohs, cracks began to appear in this theory. The history books were about to be rewritten.